Hi, this is Dr. Dave, and in this video we're going to go through Technology Assignment 2 so you can create a new Google Sheet that looks a lot like this one. It's going to have the Salary Offer 1 that you did in Technology Assignment 1, and then a new one that corresponds to a percent increase. So when you look at it here, you'll see there's going to be two graphs on top of this. And the way we're going to do this is we're going to go to that worksheet that we created for uh, Technology Assignment 1. Let me do that. Here it is, T1 Grazer. And we're simply going to take this whole thing, we're going to copy it, and then we're going to add the new column to it. So when I go down here and click right there on that little triangle, I'm going to say Duplicate and says copy of T1 Grazer, except now this is going to be my Tech 2. So I'm going to double click. I'm going to click here. And I'm going to edit this. So it doesn't say copy of T1. It says T2 now. Now in this worksheet, I'm going to create a new graph. So I'm going to click on this, go up to my little triangle, and say delete chart because I'm going to create a brand new one that has everything on it. All right, so we need our second salary, and this should be the salary that's been assigned to you with a percent increase. So it's going to be salary 2. So the heading in cell C1 is salary 2. In the first row in my table here, which is actually in the second row of the column C, I need to put the starting salary, the one that corresponds to year zero. So this is a starting salary of 25,000. So I'm going to type in the 25,000 and then press enter on my keyboard. Now, this particular salary starts at 25,000, but it has a 5% pay raise each year. So I'm going to calculate out that 5%. Since I'm going to do a calculation, I'm going to type the equals to start out my formula here. I'm going to take 0 0.05, which is the same as 5%, type a star from the keyboard, or for a times, and I'm going to take 5% of this 25,000. And instead of typing in 25,000, I'm just going to click on C2. And so when I look at the formula there, it says, ah, 5% of C2, which is 25,000. That's the raise that I'm going to get for that year. I'm going to add to that what the salary was. And so what that means now is I've taken 5% of 25,000 and then added it to the 25,000. Press enter and it calculates out that value for me. Now I could have typed the actual numbers in here, but then I wouldn't have been able to do what I'm going to do next, which is I'm going to fill the rest of this table with the salary values by reaching down and grabbing the handle right here and dragging it down. It's going to recognize that there's a formula in there and it's going to fill the rest of this column with that formula. So for instance, if I look at C11 here, I can see that the formula is 5% of C10, which is what was above, and then I'm going to add to that what was in C10. So I didn't have to do a whole lot of work here. I just went ahead and used the fill. One of the things you notice, you see all these decimal places? We don't need that many decimal places. We're in dollar and cents. So I'm going to go up here. I'm going to click. And then I'm going to drag. I'm holding my mouse button down. And then I'm going to go up right here. And I can either decrease decimal places or increase. So I'm going to do the decrease. And it takes out all the decimal places. And then I'm going to go back and click on this once, twice, so now all of these are in dollars and cents. So there is my salary increase that I did in Tech 1, and now here I've added on to this table the ones for the percent increase. Now I just need to go ahead and graph that. So to do that, I'm going to go up to A1, I'm going to click on it, and while I'm holding down the mouse button, I'm going to drag over to the end of the table. It gets highlighted and that indicates that I've selected those, those values and that's what I'm going to plot. Like I did in Tech 1, I'm going to go up to Insert, down to Chart, 
and it's going to suggest some chart types here, but I don't see the one I want, which is the one we used last time. So I'm going to go over to chart types. I'm going to select line and it's already gone ahead and said, oh, use row one as headers, use column A as labels. I want to, I want to make sure those are selected. And now I can see the one I did here before in tech one, and I've just added on the new one. All right, that looks pretty darn good. So I'm going to go ahead and click insert. Now, if you want to go straight to adding the labels and all of that kind of stuff, you can also up here go to customization. That takes us to that advanced edit. And now I can change the title right here. I'm going to call it salary offers. I can go down here and uh, under horizontal it put year but I could also go left vertical and do what I did last time which is salary in dollars and if I want this to run from zero up to 45,000 I can put a zero 45,000 and again, we can make lots of different modifications. This is a place where you could play around a little bit, but I do kind of like the fact that I have two different colors here. So there's my label on the vertical axis, label on the horizontal. I've got a legend over here that was created automatically, and I have my title. That looks pretty good. Let me hit insert. Again, it kind of pastes it in an inconvenient spot, so I'm going to go to the top here. I'm going to press my left mouse, and while I'm pressing it, I'm going to drag it over. There we go. I've now got my two graphs here, the one where it's increasing by $800 each year, and the other one where it's increasing by 5% per year. This looks pretty good, so in Tech Assignment 3, we'll go up here, we'll grab this and say Copy Chart, and then we'll paste that into a Google drawing and then we'll add some items to that.